Hello Year 11, Mr Gumby here again. Welcome to your assembly for this week. Hope everyone had a nice half term last week. Um, I had a, a few days where I wasn't in work, um, but I ended, unfortunately ended up doing some DIY, painting my house, so I ended up doing some hard work at home instead. Um, this week we're going to talk about resilience, how you can be more resilient, um, not just resilient in general, but also we're going to be thinking about being resilient online and do's and don'ts of social media and stuff like that. Okay, the first couple of slides today are just about reading, so have a read of those. Um, and there are some virtual library links there if anybody would like to go onto the virtual libraries and get some books that way. So, just thinking about resilience, what do the two people in the picture there have in common? Well, the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties and toughness. Resilience is also the ability to cope when things go wrong. So the, both the people that we just showed on that slide are resilient in different ways. And, and we can all be resilient in different ways. What we're trying to get through to you today, hopefully, is <clears throat> the situation hasn't been ideal uh, over the last few weeks for your learning. But we're hoping, we heard last night from the Prime Minister that schools are going to be back the week beginning the 8th. Um, we will be updating the website and telling you how that's going to work in the coming days and, and this week and next week. Um, well, when you when you do get back in, it is about being resilient. It's about making sure that we don't look at the past. We look to, we look forward and we try and improve on what, on the situation that we're at, we find ourselves in as individuals. So, some people will have done more work than others over lockdown. Some people are doing lots of work and sending it back. Others struggle to work in that way. It's not about looking at others and thinking, oh, they've done more than me and I'm falling behind. We don't want people to be doing that. What we want is for you, when you, when you come back in, it's, it's for you to work in the best way that you can work in school and for you to, to forget about anything you've not done and let's focus on what we can do and, and be resilient in that way. So the two people there, you can read there, I mean... We know we, we all know about so Captain Tom Moore and the things that he's been through in his life and how resilient he's been and, and what he achieved at even being 100 years old. And then we've also got Ellie Simmons who was born with a condition that meant she was she, she had dwarfism. Um, but you can see she didn't let that stop her. She was incredibly, incredibly resilient and won lots of medals at the Paralympics. So it's about it, resilience is about your attitude and doing what you can with what you've got. And everybody is can be can be successful if they show a good deal of resilience and at your age now it's in year 11 every year every week every month that you progress in, in your education in your life now at your age you're at you will need more and more resilience so we, we do have to learn how to how to recover from setbacks the most the most successful people in any walk of life have been many many times have failed They've failed and failed and failed, but the most successful people are the most resilient ones and they come back from failure and they keep trying and ultimately you will be successful if you can do that. So how can you be resilient? So it's about accepting challenges, realising that you will be disappointed sometimes, you're never going to get everything right, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to fail, you're going to get things wrong, you might, you might do an assignment and your teacher says it wasn't particularly good that you've missed this off, you've not included that, and it's not about sulking about it, it's about you know what, okay, I'll take that on board and I'll improve it and I'll get, I'll, I will get some success out of a, a situation that originally I failed and it's, it's about having a positive attitude and, and just embracing setbacks. You're going, to meet, you're going to have more and more setbacks at your age now as you go to college, to uni, to work. Some days you will have bad days, you'll have setbacks and it's about, do you know what, meeting them head on. It's a bit of a hurdle but I'm going to get over it and I'm going to carry on and I'll be stronger for that experience. So moving on to digital resilience, this we've done a lot of a lot of this over the years, and this is slightly different. My my personal advice to you on this is never ever have people you you call friends who are not real friends on 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 social media. Just only be only deal with only talk to people who you know out of out of real life situations, whether it's school or outside the school. 
don't argue on social media because things can get taken out of context but only speak to your friends who you know are your friends and it's, it can help solve a lot of problems before they even begin so what challenges could occur uh, an online friend might say something hurtful are they really your friend is the question you should be asking if they're not really your friend then my advice as a grown-up who's been through this is don't speak to anybody online who's not your friend uh, if they do say anything hurtful don't respond because once it's typed and it's sent it can't be brought back the best thing to do in any situation where you where you feel that you could be something could result in an argument or a disagreement is not get on social media and talk about it it's do things face to face okay because there you can have a conversation and things don't get taken the wrong way where they can do if it's a text message or something like that so you, you might say something hurtful about somebody else again and it's about being responsible for what you do so again advice from me would be don't do things when you're angry or you're emotional or you're upset don't go on social media when you're feeling like that because you can say things you don't mean but once you've pressed send you can't then pull it back so act responsibly be responsible for your actions don't type anything don't send anything that is going to hurt someone if you need a conversation to resolve it you do it face to face Don't stay up too late using social media, again, that gets you out of your routine. Tiredness is a big factor in people struggling during the daytime when in school or when trying to do work at home. Um, set a time limit for your online activity and stick to it. So again, it's about responsibility and using your own self-control. Sometimes, again, growing up is difficult. I've been there and people, even adults do this, exaggerating things to impress friends online and stuff like that uh, you've, you've got to act it with with truthfulness and that comes with maturity and as, as we say all the time you know children adults we do make mistakes but you've got to be true to yourself and you've got to if you're using social media you've got to use it in a responsible way and be true to yourself and don't try and be something you're not on there and that that will help if you are only talking to people who you know are your real friends and not people who you're not sure about Moving on to acknowledgements. So we're, again, we've had lots of acknowledgements this week. Well done to everyone. Thankfully, we've only got this week and next week, and then we're going to be back in school. So we can do all these acknowledgements from in school, and it will be much easier for me to communicate with you, and it will be it will get us all back on track where we need to be. So that's a good, the good news that we heard last night from the government that we the week starting the eighth, uh, year elevens are going to be in. We're going to give you more information on that when I have it um, it will be put on the website how that first week is going to work so I don't email me at the moment asking how it's going to work we will contact you we'll put things on the website and we'll let you know how that's going to work in the coming days so acknowledgements for English well done to Matthew for submitting well considered and developed work well done Matthew English as an additional language goes this week to Tamor Khan, very engaged in all his lessons, not just EAL. He is participating and will try to answer any question posed. So this is very impressed with you there, Tamor. Well done. And in maths, it goes to Ethan Flight. Ethan has been engaging really well and working really hard. So well done, Ethan. Science, Caitlin McDonald consistently works hard. We know that because Caitlin's received quite a few awards over the last few weeks even with remote learning Caitlin continued to make good progress well done Caitlin really impressed MFL Mohammed Kess for great work in Urdu well done Kess really good improvement there pleased to see that well done in history Samaya Begum always completes work to a high standard and contributes well during lessons again Samaya well done you've received a few uh, acknowledgements over the last few weeks and I think there's another one coming up for you so you're clearly doing really really well keep going doing well in RS religious studies Mohammed Subban and Thomas Mills both for excellent attitude and effort so well done to both of you good to see you both on there well done to Subban um, joined us a little bit late for this term but well done you're catching up it's good to see And in PE, Lucy Jo Wild, continued effort and displaying a positive attitude to her learning. Well done, Lucy. It's good to see. 
And again, in computer science, Thomas Worsley, another person with excellent effort and work, and also he's supporting others. Well done, Thomas. So may is second one this week in art, excellent effort and determination with all tasks set, fantastic eye for detail within her work. Well done, Samaya. In business studies, Sidra Malik, excellent interaction in lessons. Well done, Sidra. And again, Thomas, second one for Thomas in enterprise, good work and effort. Well done, Thomas. Excellent to see. In iMedia, this week it goes to Amina Asgar, Brilliant team's effort, so well done Amina. It's good to see that people are contributing and doing the best, even even on remote learning. It can be difficult. I, I go through the, the difficulties of teams and, you know, sometimes things don't work how they should. But it's really good to see that people are just getting on with it and being resilient, as we've just spoken about. Health and social care this week goes to Alicia Kauser for brilliant engagement. In, again, in team's lessons, well done, Alicia. That's showing a great attitude to work. Well done think that might be the last one for this week let's just click on it and find out it is these as usual are my reminders we've got another couple of weeks off school so if you need me it's on there email me um, you can get me on teams um, you can phone me you can phone school and have to be put through to me if you need to speak to me work keep going with your work don't just think oh we're back in school in a couple of weeks i'll just have a bit of time off every single bit of work you do is important and it can go towards giving you a grade so keep working for the next couple of weeks get yourself in a routine keep yourself in a routine should already be in one if you're not getting it if you are stay in it just for a bit longer and then obviously we'll get you back in and we'll we'll get everybody working in school control what you can control i say this all the time don't worry about stuff you can't do anything about Stay motivated, and obviously they, that website there helps you with that. There's lots of stuff on there if you want to go and try and read, read up on that. Okay, that's it from me this week. Take care, everyone. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.